Hello friends. If you or anybody in your family is a diabetic patient, then information provided in this video will be helpful to you. As a consequence of hyperglycemia of diabetes, every tissue and organ of the body undergoes biochemical and structural alterations which account for the major complications in diabetics. A number of systemic complications may develop after a period of 15 to 20 years in either type of diabetes. Late complications are largely responsible for morbidity and premature mortality in diabetes mellitus. This video contains six major long-term complications of diabetes you can have if you have long-standing diabetes. Before starting, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. 1. Atherosclerosis Diabetes mellitus of both type 1 and type 2 accelerates the development of atherosclerosis. Consequently, atherosclerotic lesions appear earlier than in the general population are more extensive, and are more often associated with complicated plagues such as ulceration, calcification, and thrombosis. The cause for this accelerated atherosclerotic process is not known but possible contributory factors are Hyperlipidemia Reduced HDL levels Nonenzymatic glycosylation Increased platelet adhesiveness Obesity and associated hypertension in diabetes the possible ill effects of accelerated atherosclerosis in diabetes are early onset of coronary artery disease silent myocardial infarction cerebral stroke and gangrene of the toes and feet gangrene of the lower extremities is 100 times more common in diabetics than Indiana non-diabetics 2 Diabetic microangiopathy The pathogenesis of diabetic microangiopathy as well as of peripheral neuropathy in diabetics is believed to be due to recurrent hyperglycemia that causes increased glycosylation of hemoglobin and other proteins, for example collagen and basement membrane material, resulting in thickening of basement membrane. Microangiopathy of diabetes is characterized by basement membrane thickening of small blood vessels and capillaries of different organs and tissues such as the skin, skeletal muscle, eye, and kidney. Similar type of basement membrane-like material is also deposited in non-vascular tissues such as peripheral nerves and kidney. 3. Diabetic Nephropathy Renal involvement is a common complication and a leading cause of death in diabetes. Kidney disease that results from diabetes is the number one cause of kidney failure. Almost a third of people with diabetes develop diabetic nephropathy. People with diabetes and kidney disease do worse overall than people with kidney disease alone. This is because people with diabetes tend to have other long-standing medical conditions, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and blood vessel disease, atherosclerosis. People with diabetes also are more likely to have other kidney-related problems, such as bladder infections and nerve damage to the bladder. 4. Diabetic Neuropathy the pathogenesis of neuropathy is not clear but it may be related to diffuse microangiopathy as already explained, or may be due to accumulation of sorbitol and fructose as a result of hyperglycemia, leading to deficiency of myoinositol. Diabetic neuropathy may affect all parts of the nervous system but symmetric peripheral neuropathy is most characteristic. 5. Diabetic retinopathy Diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of blindness. Besides retinopathy, diabetes also predisposes the patients to early development of cataract and glaucoma. 6. Infections Due to various factors such as 
Impaired leukocyte functions Reduced cellular immunity Poor blood supply due to vascular involvement and hyperglycemia per SC Diabetics have enhanced susceptibility to various infections such as tuberculosis Pneumonias Pyelonephritis or kidney infection Otitis or ear infection Carbuncles and diabetic ulcers I hope the information provided in this video will be helpful to you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.